Okay, next video. We're going to do a quick little um, demonstration here of looking at this data a different way. I think I loaded Firefox. Oh, good. I am going to go to Firefox and I'm going to look at something called DB, DBeaver, which is a nice um, universal database tool. There's a professional version and a, and a, and a free version. We're going to use the free version down here for Windows through the Windows installers. We'll just walk through the install here. Uh, download. All right, download complete. So let's open that. Let's open that. Oops, we don't need this anymore. I'll put as much as I can in the uh, the video notes. Uh, we're installing. I select English because that's what I'm speaking. It's the only language I know, sadly. Um, I'm going to agree to this guy for me on my computer. Sure. I'm just going to accept wherever that's going. I, you put it wherever you need. Install. Seeing progress bars. Fun times, right? Home stretch. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to create a shortcut on the desktop, and I'm going to click go. Did it not say launch? I don't want launch. You open. So as we open up here, let's uh, just wait for splash screens. We'll allow access. Click. Allow access. Do I want to create a sample database? No, I don't. Oh, look, it pops up connect to a database. So I'm going to click all. I'm going to say HANA. And it should have a HANA uh, tab here. I'm going to click that. It's an addition. I want HANA Express. Put the host in, which is local host, as you recall. It was nice enough to fill in the default port for me. Oh, I don't remember. I use system for right now. Um, see if I remember the password. Save locally, sure. Finish, go, don't send. Did it get a connection? That's oh, going to ask for drivers do download load schemas okay so we're in and this gives us a nice little GUI environment to play in I'll maximize that for our viewing enjoyment here we're at the system the test me user that we created last video with nothing in it because I granted that user here and then I created that schema called data load and data load is the one that should have that table that we created my names there it is um, let's see, generate SQL, select. All right, it didn't, uh, let's create a, um, a SQL statement, localhost, paste, run it. And it got data. So all of that data that we did before is here. So that's great, right? Yahoo! We did it. So this is just another tool, quick video here to show you that you can get to this data through means that are more graphical than the GUIs that they're provided to you on the, the free free stuff. Um, and we'll get into this a little more in depth in future videos. I'm going to take uh, some stuff I've got from SQL Server, port it over to HANA, and then see if we can't get that stuff into the cloud and get some nice functionality going in a future video. Anyway, talk to you all later. That's it for now.